This video is in response to a question that I asked on my, got asked on my YouTube channel. I've kind of talked about it before, but I thought I'd just do a quick short video, a quick short video on the topic, and I'm not dissing any other distro, but someone asked me why I choose Debian as my, my main distribution for my computers. And there's a few, <clears throat> few reasons, and the main reason, one of the main reasons is their repositories. The repositories are very full, they have more software packages than most other distros, or at least many other distros, I should say. I'm not saying there aren't other ones out there with more packages. Um, they do a great job maintaining them. They have uh, Debian unstable, testing, and stable. You can't call something stable unless it's thoroughly been tested, not just by developers, but by lots of people. So everything has to go through unstable and testing before it gets to stable. Uh, so that means stable might be a little bit older, but you know that it's 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 stable. So if you have a very important system, Debian stable is the way to go. Now on my desktop and my laptop for probably at least five years now, I've been running Debian unstable, and very rarely do I ever have any problems. Um, so there's that. But definitely, it's great to have that stable release for a system that's very important, a server maybe that you're running a business on or something like that. Uh, and most other distributions don't do that that model where they have untested, stable, and uh, untested, unstable, tested, and stable. But a lot of distributions are based off Debian, so they benefit from that anyway. And so I think it's great that Debian does this. So uh, definitely their repositories and a lot of things to do with the repositories. Again, the number of packages, the fact that things are stable. And they also break their repositories down into free and non-free uh, repositories. So if you want to make sure that you only stick with free software, you can choose uh, ones that are under an open license where certain uh, things where you might want to use, usually drivers and other proprietary stuff, uh, you know that you're not installing them if you leave those repositories out. Uh, and then another thing I like about Debian is just that you have options to do, you know, a desktop install, or I have, which I've never done. I've I like that you can do a minimal stop install with Debian. You can get yourself a little 10 megabyte file and do a network install, and it's fairly minimal. Um, and then I can install software as I need it. Uh, distributions like Ubuntu and Linux Mint are great for out of the box usage. Uh, they have pretty much everything that you'll need on a common system, but you also have a lot of things that you don't necessarily use because everyone needs different things. So to use those for system installs for myself, I don't normally do because it's very easy, again, with package managers to, if I'm doing something and I'm like, oh, I need to open, you know, an office file, I, I fairly rarely use LibreOffice, I can install it in like a minute and I'm good to go. So I just install software as I need it. And I also have a script uh, that does an, an install and my default settings that I like on my system. So once I install Debian, I run that and it installs the stuff that I always want installed. And then beyond that, I install stuff as I go. Um, but going back to things like Linux Mint and, and Ubuntu, uh, again, they're great for live CDs, live USBs, because when you're running a system like that, you know, you plug it in, you want it to be working, you know, and I think that's great. So basically, there's three main distros I like. Again, for m installs on my systems, uh, my desktop and my laptop, I use Debian. Uh, if, but I carry around a flash drive, which actually has multiple distributions on it, uh, but for live systems, I usually use Linux Mint, and if I'm installing for somebody else that I don't necessarily, I'm not going to sit there and get the system all set up how they want it, and they may not know, you know, what they want, which a lot of users don't, I'll install Linux Mint, usually with XFCE, because that's the desktop I've been running for a couple of years, and I used to switch my desktop interface a lot, uh, and my window manager and stuff like that, but I've been pretty much set with F XFCE. Um, it's somewhat lightweight and very simple and straightforward, and a lot of the programs that you use aren't linked to the desktop specifically. Um, so, Linux Mint would be my choice for live USB and installing for friends. And then the third third distribution I like is Slitaz, which I use, which I'm probably pronouncing wrong. I've done videos on it in the past. It's a very lightweight, about 30 megabytes uh, operating system with a full desktop and basic tools. And I'll use that on lighter weight and older systems. Uh, and I think it's great. Another great lightweight one is um, TinyCore. Uh, and I think TinyCore is great too. Um, I just usually go with Slitaz because I'm 
just more comfortable with it because I've used it more. Uh, I find it a little more, a little more for something so minimal, a little more out of the box ready. Uh, Tiny Core is truly like a very, very minimal system. I think it's only like 10 megabytes, maybe 15 with a desktop. Don't quote me on that, but it's something like that. Uh, but then again, you know, both of them, once you start installing stuff, it gets larger. But those are great, lightweight, or if you just want to run from RAM, uh, which you can do with other operating systems, but since they're so lightweight, they copy over to RAM pretty fast. Um, but Slitez, I definitely think, is a little bit nicer for, for beginners. Like, if I knew someone who, who um, never used Linux before, or, or just isn't big on, you know, computers in general, but they have a really old machine, which still, at that point, I probably still would do Debian. Um, but if I just wanted to install something quick, Slitaz is probably the, where I go. Um, Tiny Core probably had, it seems like it's a little more developed, a little more recognized. Slitaz development seems slow, but it is constant. Um, so yeah, that's why I choose Debian, and that's why I also like Linux Mint and Slitaz. Those are my three top distributions. Let me know in the comments below what distros you like and why. And again, I did not make this video to criticize or ridicule or anything about other distributions. Just why I choose what I choose. And again, Linux is Linux, got a Linux kernel and a basic Linux shell. You know, I'm pretty happy. I mean, obviously there's other things that are important, but good to go after that. Thanks for watching. Please visit filmsbychris.com. It's Chris the K. There should be a link in the description. I hope that you have a great day.